All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balance Diet of Teletainment, the very entertaining interview where we'll be getting with some of the plus size models and even the founder of the plus size event will go share for November 3rd and 4th. Now we get another cadre guest inside the building. This is a very young man, will be auto, he be system analyst, a specialist, and is an involved thinker. That means a level of thinking not be based on what will they see for 2018. If he be seen as something they see as far on as 2020 or even 2050. In a life coach, personal and organization growth development and leadership expert. Now he don't come outside the yan, he own beliefs, your own principle, and what he feels seen as the way forward for inside our country, especially in terms of leadership. He talks to the major key to the transformation where we lead to growth. Now what we feel do with ourselves, not what government we do for us, what we feel do by ourselves. You're going to help help me milk welcome this morning, Mr. Ben Joe Ogbechi. Yes. Ogbechi, yes. Good morning. Good welcome good to good the show. Good Thank morning. you. Good to have me. Good to have you. Very um, okay. So let me even start from your background because okay. uh, from what I don't read now, you're a system specialist. Yes. So that would mean say you read. Yes. What do you read for school? Uh, computers. Computer science. Yes, now you read for yeah, school. Information technology. Wow, information yeah. technology. Yes. I okay, IT. Now you read for school. Yes. All right. So from IT, you can't evolve, can't discover. How you tell manage discover yourself along this journey of your life career? Okay, I'm. I'm. I will try join a teaching English, but uh, just give me that leeway to speak uh, uh, formally. Okay. Um, yes, I have. Um, I. I get a lot of people that work under me. And I'm able to relate to them, and I'm able to develop them, and I have a, a fantastic team that grew, and I began to understand the individual human character, how they can develop from nothing, which I did myself. When I, I, I left Nigeria and went to the United States, I developed myself from ground up. You know, and then I, I attended a lot of lectures, and I said, at a point I said, okay, I'm going to put, it, put my thoughts in a, in a book and say, listen, you can do it. You do not really need uh, um, character development. Is more of a, an, uh, fortifying a straw that will support the whole building. If you develop yourself, then you become I becomes we, so that we can in, uh, interrelate with each other. But if you don't develop yourself, that's all. If you if you want to complain on everything, you will find complain on everything unless you look back and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do for myself. I'm going to actually. It's not an easy thing. It's not an overnight thing. It took me well close to 15 to 20 years to begin to develop that idea that nobody's going to come, but you will come. Until you come to you and find out what you can do, you will find out that you you lubricate the, your environment. That the, your environment makes way for you. Even in everywhere. Now we don't say yes when it talk when it comes to us making that change. The yes. change we will define it starts with us. But yes. um, if you look at our society, it's, it can't be like say it's almost impossible, or almost as if somebody they frustrate your efforts. Yes. A practical scenario. Yeah. Now when you they drive and you stop a traffic light. Yes. Now some places there where if you stop for the traffic light, you're trying to do the right thing. Yes. But people for your back, they hoot, they they horn, they they yes. cost you. Say why you they stop yes. for traffic light? Yes. You're actually trying to follow the law. Yes. But it can't be like say. Now you be a bad person for following the law. How easy or how much can can you still stay mm -hmm. within the principles, mm -hmm. whether be it of your land yes. or of yourself as, as a person of integrity, yes. despite within the circumstances yes. be like for that for that kind of situation? Yeah, the the thing is that you you don't let somebody change you. We have two things in life. One is to develop, one, one is to uh, stay alive, and the other one is to uh, grow, to increase. And if you go through this process, it's like you have a uh, a reverend father that is not married, among the, a lot of beautiful women around. You actually have to train yourself. You have to get into that mode of saying, okay, I'm not going to let these people take, take out my job. If you take a good look at it, you spend about an hour out of 24 hours on traffic, maybe two hours, maybe three hours, but that's still a fraction. And if you let that affect you every day, every day, you begin to see that you begin, you're yielding to circumstances around you. But in, if, in Lagos, the traffic is more than three hours per day. I mean, if you do, if it, <laughs> it is, that is you can, true. It, going and coming together can be up to eight hours traffic combined, that, to say the least. Exactly. That is true. And out of 24 hours, if eight hours don't there on frustration level. Yeah, you have 16 I mean, hours. You have 16 hours. Yeah. But if wow. you let that 16 hour, that eight hours uh, overflow into the 16 hours, how do you, which, where do you get uh, any time back anymore? So what do you do? It's not easy. If you get into training yourself to become you, don't let people... I'll give you a good example. A policeman pulled me over the other day, and I said, take me... Well, let's go to the, um, uh, to the police station. I'll pay the fine, 
and then uh, you give me a receipt, I walk away. He sat in the car, the other guy sat in the car for a while. At the point he knew that I'm, I'm going to waste his time. He left, he said, just go. You know, if I have done anything wrong, let me know. Because we had a tinted, uh, I had a tinted car, a window, and I had the papers. So the thing is that we have to individually make time, make time to, full, to do the right thing. And let the other, don't, don't worry about what other people do. Don't worry about what other people do. You get there. And when you set your, I come to Nigeria like three, four times a year. And each time I come, I see the same thing. And I don't let those things. Somebody might say you escape when uh, it, it becomes full. I wish you'd be the state for Nigeria permanently <laughs> because three, four times it means say you get some things where if you know see or if or, or if you be say maybe you know say you know the stay for it, you know the stay for it permanently so you can have uh, it can um, accommodate certain things. Yes. Then if you say you go another place where they're quite organized. But let's talk about your book, um, yeah. Thoughts, the Power Within. I mean, they read the book and I go chapter three, Men of Influence, where you be they talk about. And you yeah. they talk about the particular character where you sabi mm -hmm. and you talk saying that brilliant student, you talk saying screening for more when they school is. You're always looking neat, always looking so well organized. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask men of influence or anybody we fall into this character. Yes. You they tell us, say, right from childhood or right from small, yes. you always get them together. Yes. Say, at, they always had this perfect line of thought. At no point were they ever misled from their focus. Yes. Is it ever possible? Yes, it is. It is. You see, you, these are not perfect men, but the thing is that they are focused. And you can do that at any time in your life. You can, uh, that is what we have that is different from every other animal, everything Britain. If uh, the goose goes south in the winter, it's going to go south in winter because of instincts. But it's only men that have, human beings that have that uh, option choice. You can change any time, you can buy into it any time, you can start from it, uh, you can start on it any, uh, very early in life. I have very good friends that we, when we were coming up, you know that they are going somewhere. I have an older brother who is a retired military guy right now. You know that, he didn't know, he was one of the laziest in our family. But he ended okay. up there and he became a fine officer. So you can, you can actually, uh, from childhood, or turn it around any time when you be, when you find yourself. So tell you, us about your book, um, Thought the Power Within. within. Now we say the power we will get for inside. Yes. If possible, say we feel no know the kind of power we will get inside us. Yes. Tell that's, us about the that's book. That's exactly true. We really don't know. We we have the power. I flew here in an airplane. Somebody developed it. It started from somewhere, from somebody saying, okay, let's put this in together and try it out. Do you imagine what an individual can do with the brain that we have. If we actually go into ourselves and say, okay, let me find what I am good at and what I can do best, better than everybody. Because each and every one of us has something that we can do better than anybody alive. And that is that giant piece of puzzle that you have to contribute. I always say it, for you to advance in life, you have to begin to find a way to contribute, to serve. And when you serve, when you contribute, you become ethical in what you do, and then every other thing will come together. Wow, I wish they did as easy as they talk, because it's going to be like saying a smooth journey. No, it's, not, like it's not easy. It's not easy. Through. But tell us yes. really, where people forget this, your book? It's on, it's on Amazon. It's on, on Amazon. Amazon. Everywhere you sell How books. How long did it take you to write this book? Um, uh, it took me about a year, but the thing is that this is a gathered experience for over time that I've had from... Uh, not knowing anybody in the United States and making friends and working in one of the best colleges in, uh, in the United States as an IT and began to speak to people that um, right now at George Washington University, every year they, during orientation, they get all the African students together and I have to talk to them. I get paid for it anyway. So oh, fantastic. Now your first book will be this way they write? Yes, yes, this yes. This is your very first very, book? Very, very first book. Will you write? I have fantastic. another one coming up in December, but this is the one that is uh, Okay, already, so yeah. you say this book now for Amazon, if you see the book? Yes. To actually yes. make purchases yes. online. Yes. You yes. get, um, looking at the reading pattern for Nigeria today, yes. We see say a lot of Nigerians, yes. they're lazy when it comes to reading. Yes. And um, we don't know what authors like Una they do concerning changing that scenario. We don't know whether e-books or audio books, to be precise, yes. has been an effective way of encouraging listening or research or reading books yes. inside the country. What do you feel about uh, the, 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 the need to change the la lazy reading culture for our country? Yeah, well, what, we have, what happens is that our people now, I see that the users of Facebook has risen. So we're introducing uh, 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 um, snippets of books 
into Facebook. What if it's and, nice extra? Uh, just a little bit of pa patches of, of ah, our books. Oh, no, you go <laughs> too, too, too heavy. Into, into Facebook. And we have something coming up on the 7th of November okay. called Hands on Deck. All right. Or Hands on Deck Seminar. That's why we have it free. We have every, want everybody to come around, and we're going to talk about the reading culture and how to introduce yourself. And if somebody goes through something for five years and they write about it in a book and you read it in three days and gain that knowledge, isn't that wonderful? So we're going to try to, what we're trying to do is putting blocks of our books and our events, especially on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that, so that people will be interested. Fantastic, fantastic. And we'll not say, now you don't tell us what we can like, get this book on Amazon and nuggets of the book or information about them. Um, they, they, they put them small by small on top of Facebook and other social media handles. Because a lot of us, we can sleep, we can eat, we can drink, we can even die on top of social media. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming inside the studio, Mr. Thanks Joe. Thanks for having me. Um, what a wonderful experience. And we we'll wish you all the best Thanks on top of your me. career. Beautiful one you're doing. Representing Nigeria well. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.